I know I gotta be strong Cause around me life goes on and on And on And on Oh You know what, good morning, good afternoon, good evening family I ain't even gonna go there I am so disappointed. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I want to send this message out to my brother because he is really off the chain. And, you know, I really don't try to get in, talk too much about uh, people's parenting skills and unless, I, you know, I just can't control myself. I have to make a comment. And when I see you abusing your children, I don't care if they're adult children. I don't give a damn. Because, see, sometimes it's the damage that you do when they're small that allow them to grow up into adults that are damaged because of your lack of parenting skills and your inability to care about somebody other than yourself. Okay, and if I got to eat it, and if everybody else got to eat it, then you ain't no exception, brother. Brian McKnight. Let me say this to you. First of all, I'm going to start with your girl. You were very inappropriate. Very. I don't know what you even getting on the internet for and trying to backtrack and backtalk because you really look like a fool right now. And I'm just going to have to keep it real with you, brother. You sound like a fool. You sound like you are hell-bent on trying to stick a spear through your children's hearts. These are individuals that you are responsible for putting on the face of the earth. They wouldn't even be on the earth if it wasn't for you. And you don't have no more respect for them because they spending your damn money. Now listen, it ain't going with you no way. When you lay that body down to die, guess what? If you don't spend it all, somebody going to get it. And you already know them people going to get it back. Because every time I sit up here and listen to these commercials on TV, in between videos, and these are songs that I know damn well, them people shouldn't have. Because the authors of these songs, I'm sure they, they offspring and children ain't getting nothing. Okay? And you don't give a damn about leaving your kids in that situation, your adult children. I don't give a damn. And for you to insult them, insult your sons by saying, and your grandson. Because again, if it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be on the earth. He wouldn't even be walking among stuff if it wasn't for you. Okay? Bussing. And making them young men. They're young men now. But they was babies once, okay, that you screwed up on. And now because they're not doing what you want them to do or because you, that's a straight narcissist. And I can speak on this because you know what? I had a, I, I, I was estranged and I, and I know that, that, that God brought the situation full circle. Because a lot of y'all know who followed me that, I was estranged from my father for 30, like, like 32 years or so. He told me he was not going to speak to me anymore because I didn't do what he wanted me to do. That's basically what it was. And I, in my opinion, as I become an adult now and fully grown, I know that he wanted to disassociate himself. And be somebody else. And I was just really cramping his style. Ain't nothing I could have did that made him that angry. Nothing. This is my life. All you got to do is say, oh, well, that's my offspring. I just don't mess with them like that. But to sit up there and say, I'm going to cut you off and write you out my will and do all of this. That's a, a narcissist. That's a, a sick human being. It's a person that is so out of control that God's going to bring you back 
Because those words that you put out about your daughter and your sons and that little baby talking about you're going to give him your in rightful heir, all that shit going to come back to hunt you, bro. I'm just letting you know now, like it came back to haunt my father. And guess what? When he got into an accident and there was nobody there but the people who had been taking advantage of him, taking his money, doing whatever, because he, wouldn't, he wasn't messing with me. And for 30 years, I love my dad. For 30 years, I was estranged from him. Oh, he, he, he got mad at me when I was 30 years old. You hear me? And didn't speak to me no more till I was pushing 60. Y'all hear me? So I wasn't going to go chase him because I didn't know I, I didn't know what to expect from him. I really didn't. I didn't want it to be a Marvin Gaye situation. Because he told me he, won't, he, don't, he ain't going to mess with me anymore and stay away from him. I mean, I, that was the most hurtful. Because... I thought he loved me. And I certainly loved him. But when he got in an accident, y'all, and nobody was there, my oldest brother, the ones, the one that he sat there and his namesake, the one that they he used to buy stuff for his kids and wouldn't do a damn thing for mine. All that abuse and mental and emotional abuse I took from my father. And it got to the point where he was living in a house by himself. He needed a guardian. And wouldn't nobody fuck with him but me. Do you hear what I said? Because I love my father. I never thought we should have split up in the first place. I never thought that he would be that cruel to me. And say the ugly, mean, nasty things like Brian McKnight. I don't even know if he know how stupid he sound. He's, you sound about as dumb as my father sound. He don't want to speak to me no more for the rest of his life and all this stuff. And he's responsible for me for having life. How, how does that work? No matter what I've done, unless sure to murder somebody, I don't deserve you to even speak to me. You want to wash your hands of me? Because I made some decisions for my life that had nothing to do with you. All you could have did was keep loving me. And if you got as much money as uh, 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 Brian McKnight got, those little few dollars you give to your sons are not going to hurt you. You gave to your sons and your daughter. And now your grandchild. So now you don't mess with your grandchild because you think you are old, a young man now because you, you didn't have a, a young baby. And I don't know what kind of woman you got that would allow. She don't got enough gumption about herself than to say, Brian, uh-uh, don't, don't do that. Because now you're you, you going to make yourself look bad. No, because if you don't give a damn about yours, she don't really either. And don't try to make no excuses and talk about how much she loved him and how much she tried. Because you know what? If she did, she would support you and not getting on the internet and talking about your daughter's personal business like you did. She sued you. And if she left a million dollars on the table, it's because she didn't want to sue her dad in the first damn place. You are really out of touch, Brian McKnight. And I, I'm down to my last cry about your ass. Because you're ruthless. And you better be mindful and careful how you treat them. BJ and um, the other one and Nico and, and, and your daughter. You better be mindful and careful how you treat them. Because right now, you're not looking very good. And I hope you don't come back on the internet talking no more shit about people you produced and put on the earth. And because you broke up with Julie. And you don't really can't stand her or whatever. You felt that you was too young or whatever. But you still did it and you still made those kids when you was young. And guess what? You a parent to the day you die. 
Don't forget it. And 